Hey, so when I was preparing for my PhD interview, I struggled with presentation slides. I had 10 minutes, I believe, to deliver a presentation and I was wondering what do I include, what do I not include? How do I put this together? What's the structure to follow? I tried to find examples on the internet, but I didn't really see anything, but I was able to refine my process and then made my slides and had a good PhD interview. I did get the position, so that is a good sign, I believe. But yeah, so basically I'll just be talking about what goes into a PhD interview specifically, what goes into your presentation slides, and hopefully this would help people trying to apply for PhDs in the near future, or just for use in general. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for every position, there is always a research topic or research area. Now, at this point of the interview, you would have sent in a proposal and it's been reviewed by a bunch of people. So for your slides, you want to have like a general overview. So the title, of course, maybe the university, the position you applied for, the title of the research um, topic or area. And then you want to have the research question, a little bit of background you know, some literature reading that you've done, what are the key gaps that you've found in that literature. You also want to talk about your methodology, which is the approach you intend to use when you are, when you get the position. So very important, that bit, we will talk about a lot more. And then the impact of your research. In some cases, you might want to include a timeline. When am I going to complete this research and then questions at the end. So that's like the overall structure in general. However, some good tips would be keep it simple, have clean design, be consistent with your colors and formatting, try to have a good mix of visuals as well as text. So not so much text, but some visuals. So let's dive in. I will be showing you the exact presentation slide I used and talk you through how I did my design. This was done in Canva, by the way. Very easy, very straightforward. So this was the first page for my slide. You have your title, which contains the topic or research area and your name as well. You can include the name of the institution. In my case, it's this is a, the program that I was applying for. So I just put that there. So yeah, that's just it for the first the title page nothing too crazy nothing you know just basic simple stuff um then i start off with a bit of literature or background so talking about what exactly the problem is i have these two sentences i'll say in total and you can see that there really isn't much going on but i have enough that can tell the people that are listening, this is what I'm looking at. And I also made some text bold here, which is a good way to highlight some key things. I should have done that for the five to 10%, but oh well. So yeah, this is the next page. Um, and then I've mentioned what the condition is. And then I'm talking about, you know, can it be prevented in my case because of my research, which has changed slightly at this point. Um, the goal was to either prevent or slow down sarcopenia. So I had something, a, t a slide that kind of talked about what currently exists. What is the, what is the intervention that currently exists? Is it effective? You know, that kind of thing. So I just talked through these a little bit. And then I also mentioned the potential impact that the research or the approach I'm taking is going to have on the general population or whoever cares basically so a few points here and there once again using capital um bolded sorry bolded text in some places my spelling here should be an s but yeah so a few points for the impact once again i just use pictures to fill up space the idea is not to have too much text but also enough white space that um, you know, it's not overwhelming. So this way they can actually read what is on there and listen to you talk through the point. 
and then the next thing this is what i aimed to do once again this may have changed slightly at the moment but at the time i applied this was what i had in mind at this point i'm pretty sure that you know if you're um, preparing for an interview you probably would have sent in a proposal and it's been reviewed and they said oh we want to meet you so basically all of these things i just summarized from my proposal and then just slam it on here so once again um some text here and there using the bold to highlight interesting and important bits so i wanted to build machine learning models i was going to do some research first and then deployment model for use. So basically I kept it simple. And then I also explained the process. Now, once again, you may have an audience that is, you will have an audience that are people made up of different backgrounds. Not everyone is going to be technical. I think in my interview, just one person um, was the technical or engineering person. Everyone else was in the field of sports, science, sports research, or teaching in sports basically so yeah in an overview this is what i was going to do get some data build the model and then test and evaluate so in between there's like this little process flow and then boom then i tried to break it down a little bit more how do i want to collect my data i explained that in terms of preparing this data for machine learning this is what i intend to do i just did like a little some graphics and just like drew around this basically canva thank you and then all images and just explained how this would inform my actual machine learning model and then i also showed them something now a friend told me that when people say they want an intelligent system, just they want to just see something that's like a web app and you can input stuff. So I'm like, you know what? Let me include this. So once again, another slide talked about this and potentially what it's going to entail and a little bit of text and proper illustrations. And I was done. Literally, I just said thank you and I passed it over to them to ask questions. Now, at this point, I do have a few extra slides, about three of them. So what I did, which is very um, interesting, was that I um, saw potential questions that I thought they might ask me. I kind of anticipated them and then add extra slides to explain that. So let's have a look and see what I'm talking about. So at this point, they're like, oh, thank you for your presentation, blah, blah, blah. How do you intend to do this? And I'm like, okay let me show you and then i go on to kind of explain so in my case i anticipated that they would ask about something about the data just something because once again very not technical people it's a mix right so i talked about this and i don't know if i really had to talk about this as much but then i guess it's nice to always see that there's a future plan so post phd and then literally that was it with that i was able to express my points and essentially had enough time to even explain more when they asked me questions so i used the slides to kind of answer the questions once again based on your research you can envision potential questions you might be asked and when you do that you can then have that extra information so when they say oh how do you intend to do this? What would this look like? You can just say, let me show you. And boom, you can fit in your presentation in the interview. So this was the format I used or the structure I used. I would like to think it worked in England. Um, and the panel were quite happy and I got the position afterwards. So yeah, if this was quite helpful to you, let me know. And if maybe, you know, doesn't really apply to you now just save this for the future and you can also use this as you're doing your phd as well if you've got to make any presentations so in coming videos i intend to share some of the presentations i may have done phd wise like when you have your viva what i included and how i talk through it especially in a very technological um, research field 
But yeah, I hope that was enjoyable and insightful, most importantly. Thank you for watching. <laughs>